Tonight we're following up on an Aurora community that's worried about fracking planned near their homes and schools. Denver 7's Angelica Abaladejo met with concerned moms and looked into the connection between our schools and oil and gas. I love it. We have a really great community. Um, we have a fantastic school district. For neighbors Krista Burke and Monica Aldridge, moving to Aurora was an easy choice. We moved into this neighborhood in particular because it's part of the Cherry Creek School District, which is known for its excellence. And so we were very excited. Excitement dulled when they learned. Now they're going to do fracking very close by with young children. Crestone Peak plans to drill oil and gas wells in the sprawling grasslands east of their neighborhood. Most of the, the neighborhood was unhappy and our fears related really to the health impacts of fracking near homes and schools. It's important to do what's best for kids. We have at least three elementary schools, two middle schools and a high school that are all within the, the map where the wells will go underneath. If the fracking gets approved, it'll happen here at the Lowry Ranch owned by Colorado State Land Board. It's been leased here for oil and gas development for almost 100 years already. Kristen Kemp works for the State Land Board and talked with us this summer. Our job is to lease out trust land located all around the state and the rent we collect helps fund public schools. In the last 15 years, the state has collected one and a half billion dollars for public schools from oil and gas operations. It's wonderful to have more money for schools. It is very necessary, but this might not be the best way to do it. Crestone's parent company, Civitas, estimates its fracking operations could generate about $640 million for public schools in the first 15 years. That's counting payments to the land board and in taxes. I don't think the benefits that come from funding for the schools outweigh the costs of our children's health. Cherry Creek Schools told Denver 7 it's monitoring Arapahoe County's new rules for oil and gas and talking with the county's public health department as they consider the health and safety of students and staff. I don't think that fracking near any school is the right answer. Reporting from Aurora, we just need to um, stand up and protect all of our kids. I'm Angelica Albaladejo for Denver 7. Ahead of this fracking project getting approval, Arapahoe County is considering stricter rules for oil and gas operations, and you can join the next public hearing on this. It's coming up on Tuesday.